Good morning, friends. My name is Miss Bridget, and welcome to Preschool Storytime right here on the Swickley Public Library YouTube channel. I'm so happy you could join me today. Now, before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about what happens on this channel all week long. On Tuesdays, we have babies and books. On Wednesdays, we have stories for twos and threes. On Thursdays, you're with me at Preschool Storytime. And on Fridays, we have family story time. And you know, you can find all these videos at 9.30 a.m. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's warm our hands up to sing. Hello, turkeys today. Because we are reading some books about animals and Thanksgiving is right around the corner. So the way we sign turkeys is... Take your pointer finger and your thumb and you make a little C or a U if you turn it like this. But we're gonna turn it upside down under our chin and waddle it back and forth. And that is the sign for turkeys. So can you sign turkeys with me? Turkeys. All right, here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, turkeys. Hello, turkeys. Hello, turkeys. It's time to say hello, turkeys. Let's try it one more time a little bit faster. One, two, three. Hello, turkeys. Hello, turkeys. Hello, turkeys. It's time to say hello, turkeys. Well, now that I've said hello to you and you've said hello to me, how about we get started with a story? Our first story today is Quackers by Liz Wong, and I would like to thank Alfred A. Knopf for their permission to read it to you today. Meow. Quackers is a duck. Is that a duck? Doesn't look like any duck I've ever seen. He knows he is a duck because he lives at the duck pond with all of the other ducks. And everyone he knows is a duck. Duck, 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 duck. He must be a duck then. But sometimes he feels like he doesn't quite fit in. Hmm, can you see Quackers? I don't know that I see him anywhere. Hmm, oh, there he is. He often has trouble communicating. Meow, meow, meow. Quack. Oh, he doesn't care much for the dinner options of slugs, snails, seeds, worms, algae, and duckweed. Not duckweed again. Most of all, he hates getting wet. Meow. <gasps> then one day, Quackers met a strange duck. Meow. <gasps> Quackers was overjoyed. You understand me. Of course I do. I've never met a duck who understood me. A, a duck? Wait a second. You think you're a duck? What is Quackers? Hmm. The strange duck, whose name turned out to be Mittens, seemed to find something very amusing. <laughs> he thinks he's a duck. Mittens thought for a second and said, mm, you'd better come with me. That's where I live. Come on. Quackers had never been anywhere so entirely unlike home. It looks like Mittens lives on a farm. Inside, there were a whole flock of strange ducks. Ducks just like Quackers. Just look at all those ducks. We're cats, silly. We chase mice, way more fun than swimming. Drink milk, so much tastier than duckweed. And clean ourselves. Well, this isn't quite as exciting, but you get used to it. Before long, quackers felt right at home. Quackers liked being a duck, but he began to miss the duck pond. He missed the rustle of the wind through the reeds. He missed the snuggling under a warm feathery wing. He even missed the taste of duckweed. This isn't so bad. And when he arrived back at the pond, he realized that most of all, he missed his friends. <gasps> quack, 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 purr. 
Now Quacker spends part of his days at the farm, chasing mice, fun, drinking milk, yum, and cleaning himself. This part is still not great. And part of the day at the pond. Who wants duckweed? Quack! Quackers is a duck and Quackers is a cat. But most of all, he's just Quackers and that makes him completely happy. And that's the end of Quackers. Today our rhyme is the five little turkeys. Here we go. Five little turkeys standing by the door. One waddled off and then there were four. Four little turkeys under a tree. One waddled off and then there were three. Three little turkeys with nothing to do. One waddled off and then there were two. Two little turkeys in the noonday sun. One waddled off and then there was one. One little turkey better run away, for soon will be Thanksgiving Day. The Five Little Turkeys. Our next story is Night Animals Need Sleep Too by Gianna Marino. And I would like to thank Viking Press for their permission to read it to you today. Now this book is all about a possum. There he is. Now possums are what we call nocturnal. They sleep during the day and they're awake at night. That's when they get all their things done. It's when they get all their errands done is at night. Um, so they're awake while you're asleep. But a really interesting thing about possums is that when they feel scared, they play dead. They stay still, they close their eyes wherever they are, and it tricks predator animals into thinking they're no longer alive, and so they'll leave them alone. So this is a book all about a possum who might sometimes lay dead as well. So this is Night Animals Need Sleep Too. Hey possum, what's wrong? It's too bright. I need somewhere nice and dark and quiet to sleep. How about sleep in that cave? <gasps> Looks dark and quiet. Well, that could be a perfect place to sleep. <gasps> Bzzz. What's that buzzing sound? Bees! Ouch, run! Uh-oh. A bear woke up from hibernation in there. Possum! Watch out! What for? <gasps> Oh dear, how about we sleep in that tree? Ah, oh, nice and peaceful. Crunch, 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 crunch. Do you hear anything? Crack! Uh-oh. Timber! Beaver! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, beaver ate their tree. <gasps> oh no, did I kill possum? Are you dead again? Go away. Look, there he is, playing dead. We also call that playing possum. Oh possum, I'm so sorry you're dead. He does that sometimes. <gasps> this den is nice and dark. Come on down. Uh-oh, it looks very small. <gasps> Something is down here. Ugh, what is that smell? Hmm, could it be coming from skunk? <coughs> Skunks don't, don't belong in wolf dens. <gasps> that looks like a cozy and quiet den. Hmm, could that be O.C.? Possum's waking up. Did you hear something? Can you move over? You're alive! <gasps> crunch, crunch, crunch. Hmm. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
We'll never get any sleep. Sleep? It's almost dark. Almost dark? Time for night animals to wake up. And that's the end of Night Animals Need Sleep too. Thank you so much for joining me today for preschool story time. I'm glad that I was able to share some really fun animal books with you and I hope you have an excellent Thanksgiving. Now let's warm our hands up to sing goodbye turkeys. Here we go. One, two, three. Goodbye turkeys. Goodbye turkeys. Goodbye, turkeys. It's time to say goodbye, turkeys. Well, I will see you all in a couple of weeks for more preschool story time. Have an excellent Thanksgiving and a great week. See you later. Bye-bye.